suppose if it wasn't for Julie, the, the library would just be a, a room full of books. Uh, it might not be the right books as well. She has a real passion and enthusiasm, a love for reading and for books, and she wants to really share that with the young people. Emma um, Sutherland has helped me find a lot of books that I've liked the sound of, even ones that I'm not particularly looking for, she's made me like the sound of. I'm actually quite jealous of teenagers at the moment. There's many things that I'm not jealous about, but I am quite jealous of, of the amount of young adult fiction that is available for them to read now. I try to read as much teenage fiction as I possibly can. I read more teenage fiction than I read adult fiction because it's so good. When a young person comes in her library looking for something to read, she can say, well, you know, what are you interested in? What genre? Have you thought about this book and this book? It's about this, because she knows that she's read it. And by the same token, if they really enjoy the book, she's someone that they can come and discuss it with. Julie's also one of our literacy coordinators in, in school. So she takes an active role in actually developing not just the reading skills, but the writing skills. She's got groups of, of young people who come in and review books. Teen Titles magazine is written by teenagers in secondary schools in Edinburgh. Um, I'm a member of the Teen Titles team. So we have books that teenagers are given to read and review, and they can be quite brutal with their reviews. They're very honest. We also interview authors for Teen Titles magazine as well. So it's just wonderful because it, it puts the latest books into teenagers' hands and we print what they say about it. Well, Julie makes a massive difference to myself and my colleagues here at the school. She has a perspective that is unique and creative and exciting and she knows children, she listens to them, she values their opinions and she brings all of this to the table. So where we could maybe be a bit stale at times, Julie will definitely liven things up for us. Julie wants the library to be the heart of the school, not just a place you go to, to get books. When you walk in this space, you feel welcome. A lot of the interactions that we have in the library outside the classroom are much more social. It's not about the books. It's about a young person coming in who needs to have a quiet and safe space to come to the library and come and have a conversation with me. I like being in the library because it's a peaceful place and the place you can just calm down. Some of the activities that I do here is lunch club, cards club, which was really popular in S1, which started at 8am and finished when it was time for tutor. There's just not a better way to start your day than chatting to a bunch of teenagers while playing cards with them. Teenagers are brilliant. They're going through such an interesting phase of their lives where they're questioning absolutely everything about themselves, about their families, their communities, about society, and they bring all of that to you for discussion. Escape Connect Relate, which is a bibliotherapy project that was started in Edinburgh a few years ago. So Julie really ran with that. So we have a range of books that we recommend on a variety of different topics, such as anxiety, bullying, suicide, abuse. There's some quite dark topics in that collection. And they're all aimed to help build empathy for somebody who might be going through some kind of crisis or to let the person themselves know that they're not alone. Julie makes sure that the young people are kind of at the centre of everything that she plans. The range of experiences is amazing. You know, we had an author in residence last year, uh, which Julie helped organise. She applied and helped um, attain that for us. We've had visitors in, she's had the primary schools up. We've gone out to film uh, at the BBC Film Studios. Our top trip, our only trip we have done um, since COVID was being the Authors Life audience for Patience of Barbie. I have never seen a bunch of teenagers have so much fun as they did on that day. The confidence, the, the skills that they develop through activities like that, you, you couldn't put a price on that. She's fully involved in creating an educational experience that's not just in the classroom and I think that suits certainly a huge number of our students who maybe find the classroom environment quite tricky or quite a pressure. Julie's enthusiasm, like I've occasionally been in here with meetings with her and a young person will, will walk in and she'll, you know, immediately her attention will be on them. What can the library offer you? The reason I like having the library is because it's got a lot of books. Well, it's a library, of course. 
but that means it has a lot more entertainment than you think. You can escape to many worlds in here and have many adventures. I think there's a book for everyone. It sometimes takes people a bit longer to find that, but Julie will connect them with a book, an author, a genre that, that they can be interested in. So I think that's down to Julie and her personality and her, her tenacity and perseverance. Her enthusiasm is overbounding. It's catching. The children walk in here, the adults walk in here, and she has them hooked within minutes. Her laughter rings through the corridors, and without her here, the school wouldn't be as vibrant as it is today.